Hi, this is the nail art design we'll be working on today. This is the fourth and final nail art design I'll be working on for the Manicure Monday Style Haul blog. Let's get started. For the first nail art design, I started off by applying this beautiful lavender nail polish color. It's by the brand Flower and it's called I Lavender You. Followed by this, I'm going to be using a dark purple color and I'm just going to be painting sort of like a little smile over the bottom area of my nail. This technique is just a reverse French manicure. It's over the bottom part of my nail. So I'm just filling in this area and just making those smile lines going upwards a little bit deeper. Now I'm just going to be applying top coat over the surface of my nail so that it could become nice and sticky and I'm going to begin placing silver glitters outlining the reverse smile line that I painted in the dark color purple. And that's it. All you'll have left to do is to apply your top coat sealing in your design. Let's move over to the next nail art design. For this one, I began by polishing my entire nail with this purple nail polish color. It's also by Flower and this one's called Pansy Schmanzy. Now I just loaded my brush half in lavender and half in white. And I'm going to begin painting my first flower petal. For this technique I didn't blend my colors because the flower is very small. Each of the flower petals are very small. So I really wanted each of the colors to show clearly. Not so much of a blend and transition between the colors. So I'm just going all around painting my small flower petals all around. It's going to be a five petal flower. And any color combo you choose is going to look great. So here I'm just continuing painting another five petal flower doing the same exact thing. You can decide just to add one flower or several like I did. I painted two complete ones and then I opted for a half one as well over the corner of my nail. I'll make sure to list all the colors and tools I used for this nail art design under this video in the description section. Now I'm just going to be adding clear top coat to the center of each of my flowers so they could become nice and sticky and I could place a little crystal in the center of each of my flowers. Depending on how big your flowers are, that's the size you should add your crystals. Now another tip I can give you if you don't want to use crystals, just add the top coat and instead of putting crystals in the centers of your flowers, you can add the silver glitters. That looks really flashy as well. Now the last thing to do for this nail art design is just apply your silver glitters in between the areas of your flowers. You can add as many as you'd like. And that's it. Just apply your top coat and this design is complete. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and try out this nail art design. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!